Can you hear all the different noises? That sounds Do you like cool. that? Oh. I always call the OICC my home away from home. I probably spend more time here than I do at my home, uh, awake at least, uh, if you don't count sleeping hours. And it really is, uh, people often say it feels like coming home, and that's what we strive for. It's a huge hub for our community. Ottawa Inuit Children's Centre is located in Ottawa, which is home to the largest urban Inuit population in Canada. We've been in existence for just over five years now, and the agency was started by a group of parents who were committed to starting an agency that celebrated the heritage and culture of their Inuit children who were growing up in an urban environment. Our initial program was the Sivimute Head Start program, which is a half-day preschool uh, program. We have a full day uh, child care centre here and then we have the first of its kind JKSK program and it's actually done in partnership with the school board. We have um, Bridging the Gap which is a program where we go into schools and do cultural awareness and support uh, Inuit children within the school system as well as their parents. We have a literacy pro program and we have a language program. It's okay, they can have one of these and like rip off the I try to do everything the way I was brought up as a little girl. Everything I do is, uh, real, I call it realistic because uh, I didn't go to school until I was 12. Everything was uh, outpost camp, living in the land. The what I'm passing on today is um, everything when it comes to language speaking, activities, and what I, the way we were living way back then. It looks yucky, but when we eat it, it's yummy, yummy, my tummy. <laughs> See that inside? If you want to get closer, lots of blood. Lots of blood. Look. Oh, But we're going to clean it. We love each other, the kids and me. I love kids, and they love me. I can tell. Anything what I say, they're going to do it. I often, when they don't want to try it, this is how sometimes I trick, this is better than popsicle. Because we get hot in the summertime down here and we have frozen char and they love it. They love frozen char. You would see them if I bring a whole char upstairs right now. If I say, who want quack? Everybody has to be up. Maybe only three would not have their hand because they want some. Quack means who wants some frozen char? That's what I'm saying. And I say, who wants some quack? And everybody has their hand. It's beautiful. It's just the way we are. The Elders' Night is really special. There are, you know, and when you talk about culture and you talk about language, you have to really talk about values within a community. And there are amazing values that this Inuit community and, and any Inuit community hold dear. And one of them is the role of elders. And that elders are really there to teach and guide. So we have a night through our literacy program where elders come in and they just really sit, it's very casual, it's very unstructured, and they just kind of sit and they talk about traditional ways of life or values or teachings. And Inuit is an oral society, and a lot of the teachings are passed on that way. What? What? Help to run the um, after school program. We do all kinds of things. Um, we've had the Ottawa Police Services come in and do a soccer mentorship program. Um, the Ottawa School of Art has come in and done an art class with the kids. We've had parents come in and do um, carving demonstrations, um, healthy teeth. Um, we do homework Mondays and Tuesdays. Sunday, 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 Sunday,
feel so weird. Thank you. Oh. Yummy! unique as to what we're doing here is that kids come together with having something in common and what they have in common is their heritage and historically children of this culture have not always had the opportunity in an urban setting to celebrate that culture and we find that that's really what parents wanted parents were moving from from the north where the culture is there you open the window you see the culture you live the culture so you see children in the middle of ottawa and you see you you see them wearing traditional clothes you hear them speaking in uktitut um, when we have a literacy circle and they're reading a story, it quite often is of a cultural nature. And the activities that are set up really are about celebrating their, their culture. So these kids go into the school system with this sense of pride that they have something unique that belongs to them that they view in a positive way. myself have a daughter who's blonde and blue-eyed and uh, there's a lot of comments oh she's blonde and blue-eyed but once they they speak to her and re recognize that she is so proud of who she is she's you know she loves speaking in Institute she loves country food people understand that it doesn't matter what you look like you know if you embrace the culture and we have lots of we actually have some kids here in our program that aren't even Inuk and uh, they come in and we embrace them and they become part of our family that's a that's a big thing for us it doesn't matter if you're Inuk or not as long as you you fit in with our philosophy you understand that, that the children come first and that the culture and language are really a huge part of our program it's we, we embrace everybody <laughs> Even though I have my own house, I call this my second home because every time when I come here, I know everything is here that belong from north. And every we have in this OICC, when you walk through that door, smelling Inuk food, they would having tears say, smell like I haven't smelled that for years. I feel like I walk into my mom and dad's house or grandma's house. Things like that remind them of their childhood. I accomplish. I always say I accomplish a little thing. That helps. That helps for that people.